And all of the projected threes were on the East Coast, so that part, you know, let's let's go do it. But um, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited, and um, Tennessee's obviously got incredible tradition. Uh, Holly's a good friend. Uh, she, I, I, you know, I just I love how how she leads with her heart, and um, I know they'll be ready to play. I know they may have been on the bubble, but if you look at their roster, <laughs> they got a very very talented roster. So we'll have our work cut out for us. Um, but you got to be ready for that in the NCAA tournament, and I'm not sure we'd want it any other way. How much did this early release kind of disrupt today for the team? Well, I'm really disappointed. I don't know how it happened because a lot of people have are trying to grow the game. And, yeah. you know, we're trying to grow the game with our community and with our donors and had something planned. And, uh, it, you know, I, I'm sure it was it's a mistake, and I'm sure people are having to take responsibility for that. But uh, in the women's game, we're really trying every little angle to get people excited um, about we know that having you here is great, and we, we want to take advantage of these things. And we want to make sure that um, we're growing our game at the same time of this March Madness. And so it's pretty disappointing, but um, as we say in our program, you can't control the events, you can only control your R, and, and we're just gonna focus on controlling our response. How difficult was it for you guys to even plan this party? Because I feel like in the past years, you haven't been able to do that because yeah. they have finals. Yeah, the stuff. only reason is is they aren't in school this week. They're only in finals. Mm -hmm. So a lot of them are done, and so they're actually available. If it was, it's usually 10th week. Mm -hmm. And so our classes, because we practice in the morning, uh, are in the afternoon. And so uh, this is, was going to be the first time. Which, that's why I'm really disappointed, is we were really excited about doing this, and we had it arranged, and people were coming. But hey, you know, um, it's out of our control, so we'll make the best of whatever the circumstances are. You're going to have to travel this time for the first time in a while. Yeah. How is that experience, do you think, going to be different? Well, right now, our team's a pretty darn confident road team. Yeah. So um, we're, we're trying to really, uh, you know, ride the um, just the confidence that we've earned by being a really quality road team. Um, you know, we've got, you know, I think four top 25 wins on the road, which is the most since the 1980-81 season. Um, so we're pretty confident in, in who we are as a road team. Um, but you know you're gonna have to earn every possession and I think that was my message to the team today is that um, just how present you have to be um, for every single possession you got to finish empty both mentally and physically every single possession so whether that's on the East Coast or that's at home we don't really care but you know I think we've known all year that as we've gotten better that we were gonna have to go on the road but um, we've been pretty successful on the road what do you think this makes this team successful on the road? It seems like a very unique yeah. trait that this team has to have. You know, I don't, I'm not totally sure I know the answer to that question, but I think that, you know, with every circumstance, right, when you, just like we had the second longest home winning streak, and with every home win, we got a little more confident, like this is what we do, we protect our home. It's sort of been that way with this team. And I think it really started with our win at Arizona State in a very hard fought game and, and against a really good Arizona State team. And we just thought we can do this. And then we win in triple overtime at Arizona two days later and I think just with every experience it's like it becomes a little bit about your identity and like we're good at this like let's ride this out and I think we just have and I also think it's a focus thing we have a very young team in, in terms of roles and in terms of experience and I think that when we are on the road there are much less uh, fewer distractions and we it's sort of us against the world and we it's just us and we're looking us in the eye and we sort of block out anything else that could get in the way of being completely present focused and so so I think it's a little bit of a um, just sort of a us against the world, and it's also a little bit of a uh, just internally focused thing. How, how much do you know about them just as a team? Have you yeah. seen them play? Yeah, I have. I've watched Tennessee not only through the years, but this year a few times. Yeah. Not as much as maybe in the past, but um, but you know I know they're incredibly athletic. I know they've been playing a lot more zone than they have in past years. So, um, you know, that's going to be something for us. We haven't faced a lot of zones recently. So, um, we, a little bit. A little Stanford's played us some zone and Oregon State's played us some zone. So, um, we'll have to do that. But, um, you know, um, they're they're really athletic. They're really long. They rebound the ball really effectively. Um, they've been you know a little bit up and down in how they've executed on the offensive end in the half court and shot the ball. Um, so that's going to be you know their challenge is I think every team's challenge is going to be executing the half court a little bit better in the in the tournament. So um, but you know I have a lot of film to watch to give you really educated answers. Um, but I have a lot of respect for Tennessee, their roster, uh, as well as their coaches, and it's going to be a great challenge. And I coached in the ACC for. Seven Seven years so I know Brenda and I know Maryland I've played there a bunch of times and they built such a great tradition there uh, I'm excited to um, have the chance to go back into the home building uh, you know 
dependent on if they beat Radford, we'll be, uh, you know, we'll, if we can take care of Tennessee, which that's going to be a challenge, um, I feel like we'll have a great chance to prepare and, and at least give our best. I don't, know, I don't know if you caught this, but you guys are in UConn's part of the bracket again for the third time in four years. Yeah, well, it's more than that if you trace my career. Sure. I actually, I've no, I didn't know that. Uh, I don't know who is, what seed, are they the they're one two. seed? They're, they're the two. two. They're a two seed, yeah. huh? Interesting. So, um, yeah, so I guess we would play them in the Sweet 16 mm -hmm. or if they if they were to make it through. Yeah, you know, it's so far down the road. I don't know. They have a thing about, you know, us and UConn, yeah, I guess. You I don't and, know. You and UConn. Yeah, me, I guess. <laughs> I mean, everywhere I've been, whether it be UC Santa Barbara or Florida State or here, uh, I've, I've seen to meet them a lot in regionals <laughs> or regional finals. So, um, you know, obviously uh, to be in the position we're in to compete against the best, uh, you know, we're, we're ready to do that, but I do think it's sort of a chuckle. Uh, I, I have no idea how that happens. I don't think there's any intention of that in the committee, but I do think it's an interesting coincidence. Yeah. Mm -hmm.